I think the biggest challenge for the whole Western world is that despite the fact that the source of the coronavirus is, is China and many authoritarian states did a pretty poor job when it comes to handling of the pandemic, uh, they could use many authoritarian countries this, this opportunity to inflate their image and uh, send the message uh, all over the world that uh, authoritarian countries are simply more efficient in, in handling the pandemic. And I do think that uh, the feeling of declinism and the, the feeling of the, of the weakness of the West is something very dominant in the uh, whole Western world. And uh, the coronavirus and, it's, it, and it, uh, the shortcomings in, in handling that, the, the economic aftermath and the uh, social consequences have all contributed to a feeling that uh, the Western world in general is unable to cope with such kind of crisis. We could see in the case of the 2008-2009 economic uh, crisis that this kind of feelings of declinism can have a lost long lasting effect. Sorry. Uh, we could see during the 2008-2009 economic crisis that this kind of cataclysms can have their uh, long-lasting effects on politics and it can also fuel disinformation narratives that we could see in all over 2020 about how much better uh, authoritarian states such as Russia and China are doing uh, than the Western world and its leaders including the United States.